All right, welcome back to Fidelitas. Let's keep manipulating these town folks, shall we? All righty, so it is Jen's turn, and let's see, she's got four cards she could choose from because of all those barristers she deployed earlier. What's she going to do? I think she will play the student. Now, a student has to go to the academic guild. It can go to the university or library. And I think she'll put it here. And now that is, the special ability of the student is draw four cards, choose one to add to your hand, and discard the other three. So that gives you a lot of flexibility and control over what cards you're getting. So let's see, which one is Jen going to take of these four? She will take that, I believe, and then discard the rest. All right, now actually you'll notice the student, there's two cards, the student and the professor have this little icon. They, um, when you play them and do their ability, you don't get to draw a card at the end of your turn like you normally do, because you instead use their ability to draw a card in a much more specific way. Or in the case of the professor, you use them to draw a lot of cards, so you really increase your hand size. But anyway, so that was Jen's turn, and now, again, I still don't know what she's doing. Did she play this student here because she cares about, you know, manipulating the university, or she, she, did she just do it? So I still don't know how best to use this butcher to interfere with her plans. All right, but anyway, well then, if I don't know that, let's go on ahead and work on my own plans. I will play the priest. And now the priest can go anywhere, because again, he's a, he's a free wheeler. And remember, I want to get three unique guilds over here. So, um, or six unique guilds, rather. So now I've got one, two, three, four. I'm working my way back up. And now his special ability, oh, he also has that icon. Take, a, oh, I have a choice. Take an extra mission card. I could add, so I can have three missions on the go at once or um, draw two cards. Instead of drawing one card at the end of my turn, I get to draw two. Now here's the tricky thing. I'd love to have another mission because having a third mission is very, very good. You know, well, obviously it gives me three things to focus on. Now that's hard. It's really tough to try and pursue three strategies at once, but that's not the benefit. The benefit of having a third mission card is that means it significantly ups my chance of Jen accidentally helping me. The more missions I've got, the more likely it is that she will um, do things that help me out. So do I want to have another mission card so I have three on the go, or do I want to get two cards? Now here's the problem, if I do that, I don't get to draw a card, so I'll be down to only one active character card, and that will really restrict me. So I think without having done something like get the barrister or something like that to increase my hand size, I'm not gonna take an extra mission card, I'm gonna do the other thing from the priest and draw two cards. So I'll just go ahead and draw two. And I got two shopkeepers. All right. And I need to gain the trust of the shopkeeper. That might come in pretty handy. Okay. Now Jen's turn. Jen will now play the professor. Okay. Who is the other version of the student, a more, more powerful one? Discard one card from your hand and draw three cards. So Jen will go on ahead and play it over here in the university. And now I got to wonder, I mean, is she might be going for something for the university there. But anyways, but more importantly, Jen now has to discard one card from her hand. She'll discard a clerk. And then she gets to draw three. One, two, three. And so now Jen has a huge hand of five cards she could play. That gives her so much flexibility. But on the other hand, I've got another point over her. So, and I'm going to say, and she did not declare that she solved any of her missions. So now it's my turn again. Right. Now, what was it I need to do? I need to get two more guilds here, or I need to get four different guilds here. Uh, gather characters for different guilds. And now the shopkeeper can help me gain the trust of the shopkeeper. Because if I put him over here, I get to swap one card with any other card in a different location. Hmm. All right. Um, so, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll put him over here. And now I get to swap two cards. Uh, as long as they're from a different location. And so what do I want to swap? What do I want to swap? Swap. See? Let's see. Well... The interesting thing is, I've got this butcher, right? And I, it doesn't do me any good to play here because there's already a guild here, uh, or already another member of the guild there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to swap this baker out. I'm going to put him someplace else. I'll think about that. And, but then I get to put another card over here in, um, you know, in, in uh, swap another card into a different location. You know, the shopkeeper, he, he moves people all over the place. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the swindler and put him in a different location. So basically I had to take a uh, swap 
I swapped the baker out, put him over here with the other baker, and then I took a character from here and put it over here, and now I've got four guilds again. I haven't changed anything, but now it's possible for me to place my butcher here and still uh, uh, try to achieve my artisan guild. All right, so that's what I did. And along the way, I am now closer to getting the trusted shopkeeper because I've got two guilds in the market and I need to get four. So that's pretty nice. Now, um, I haven't completed any missions. I got to draw back a card and I got to ask myself, do I want to draw um, blind or do I want to take one from the tavern? Because I haven't been taking them from the tavern and that's really important. Being able to see those face up ones. If I want, I could um, get a, uh, well, I could get the broker. What does she do? She lets me move two cards from a, ah, uh, look how perfect that is. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take the broker, which ends up leaving this space blank. Okay, and so I've got three cards now, by the way, hooray. So if, now if I had the priest, I wouldn't mind getting an extra mission card because I, you know, I'd still have enough cards in my hand. Anyway, so that was my turn. Jen's turn again. What is she going to do? Um, let's see. Okay, uh, border? Uh, Right, not from. Okay. Hmm. All right, all right, I know what Jen's going to do. Jen is going to play a soldier. And she is going to send the soldier over here to the market, which I recently visited. Now, the soldier has to move one card from location someplace else. If there are three soldiers, everybody go away because the soldiers just cart them all off to jail. But with um, only one soldier I'm playing, I now have to send this guy off someplace else. Or, I'm sorry, Jen does. And what Jen is not going to do is put over here, because Jen's got a pretty good idea of what I'm trying to do in this area. So Jen will go on ahead and send the shopkeeper over here. And you can really start to see Jen is really focusing on that university. So, so she's done that. And now, at the end of her turn, she will declare, hey, I've done it. I have gained the trust of the Dockmaster, which she's been working on for a little while. Gather a guild pair in one of the locations that borders the harbor, not from the merchant guild. Now, the, these are the two areas that border the harbor, because again, you can see there's a little, this way to the harbor sign. You can imagine, you can pretend this is the harbor and this is the castle, basically. So these are the two spaces that border, and she has made a guild pair. A guild pair is two characters from the same guild, and, and it had to be a guild pair, not of the merchant guild, and so Jen has done it. And see, now Jen's had a soldier for a while. She kept thinking, oh, if only I could play a soldier, it be, you know, he'd be here, but this soldier would kick that soldier out, and it was impossible for her to make a pair. But now that I finally placed my shopkeeper, I opened up, and she's finally able to do this. So, Jen just scored two points, thanks in no small part to me, and she's now at three. And then, of course, she gets to draw a new mission. I don't know what it is. And now, at the end of her turn, she draws a card. And you know what? I think she's going to draw the butcher. I don't think she's going to draw a blind. She's going to take the butcher. Okay. Now it is uh, my turn again. Okay. All right. So the shopkeeper. Ah, uh, right. So what was I going to do? Yes, yes, yes. So that kind of messed me up because I need to get four different guilds over here and Jen just kind of messed it up. But not to worry, not to worry. I will now use the broker and I'll play her over here because, again, she has to go into one of these buildings. Move two cards from one... Um, Oh, we call it. Uh, so I could use her to move these two guards out or this one guard out or move two um, or two different locations or, you know, so I can move these two guards to two different locations or alternatively, I could um, take two characters from two locations and put them in one. So I could take two from elsewhere on the board and put them here. And if I do that, if I choose the right ones, I'll have my four and I'll score. So who am I going to add? Who am I going to put over there? Um... Let's see. Well, I know Jen keeps focusing on this, so I think she must be doing something here. So I'll go on ahead and take the, um, the professor, let's say. And now i got to move one more over here, and who else will I do? Um, none of these other ones are any good, because I have to get unique guilds, and all three of these guilds are present. So i got to pick somebody else. I will pick the barrister, let's say. All right. And there we go. So... I played the broker and I used her to move um, from two characters from two different locations to one location. And in the process of that, I have now gained the trust of the shopkeeper because there are four different guilds in front of the market, even though there are five characters. And that's one point. So I, it's now we're all tied up three to three. I draw another mission card. And what is it? Ah, this is one of the special ones. Four points, one of the highest scoring ones in the game, gain the trust of the city. At least one card from each of the nine guilds must be present in the city. 
And so that means um, you know, all the basic ones plus all the special ones have to be out. Now, actually, my prototype rules comes with a list. These are the nine guilds. And so, as you can see, I haven't gotten any of the ship uh, guild out. The, the church guild, actually, this isn't too far from being done. The green guild, the yellow guild, the red guild, the blue guild, the gray guild, the white guild, the, the church, the minstrel is out, the swimmer is out. There's only one more card. Wow, I got incredibly lucky. I get one more card out, and I can score, gain the trust of the city. Very nice, very nice. This game definitely does have a lot of luck at the draw, make no mistake, but it doesn't really matter because it's a pretty quick game. But anyway, so that was my turn. Oh, right, and of course at the end of my turn I get to draw a card, nothing's in the tavern, so I'll just draw, and I got another shopkeeper. All right, now it's Jen's turn. What is Jen gonna do? Uh, um, let's see. I haven't even looked at her new guild. Let me look at this. Okay, all members of the matching guild. All right, all members of the guild. Right, that's a tricky one. Wow, Jen's got two tough guilds, two tough ones to do. Um, wowie, wow, wow. What is she gonna do about that? Um, let's see. Well, all right, I think I know what she's gonna do for starters. She is going to play a soldier. She's gonna play it over here to the market. Is she gonna do this? Yes. And there are now, normally when you play a soldier, that means you have to kick somebody out and move, some, move them around. But when you put three soldiers to an area, that means those soldiers round up everybody and they get discarded from the game. So Jen has just wiped out the market completely. Um, although fortunately, I got done what I need to get done before she did that. Right, and so now she gets to draw a card. She'll draw a card. And right, now it's my turn. Oh, what else are we gonna do here? Right, okay. So I'm working on, in the meantime, I'm still trying to get more characters over here to the Artisan Guild. Right, right, right. So how am I going to do that? No, oh, right, right. Well, remember my butcher. My butcher. I'm going to play her here because I cleared out the baker so I could, get, um, I could get her in and be a unique guild. And now I get to move any two cards to the discard pile. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and move these two over here so that if Jen was doing anything in the university, I've gone ahead and, you know, really cleared that trouble out of there. And I'm very close to gaining the, gain, the uh, trust. I see, I, but I haven't played anything. I draw another card, and I get another butcher. All right, so I could just start. Never really thought about that. What is she butchering? What happens to the people who get discarded? Oh, my. Um, anyway, <laughs> so Jen's turn. Let's see. Uh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, 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 I know what Jen's gonna do. Jen is now going to play a broker. Um, you know, she just cleared that area out and now she's filling it right back up. I gotta be, what the heck is she doing? Um, so move two cards from um, one merchant location to someplace else or from two locations to one location. Let's see, I think Jen's gonna do the latter. She is gonna move the swindler and the professor over here. And why did she do that? Because she knows. I've been trying to get this done since the beginning. I've come so close, but Jen just keeps clawing it away, my artisan guild, for three points. So Jen just, oh wait, no, no, but they have to be from different locations, don't they? So I, Jen can only pull one. She pulled the swindler, and now she has to pull something from someplace else. She will pull the baker. Now, it could be any of these. I'm just taking the one that's easiest for me to grab with one hand. So she brought the baker over there. All right, and so that was that. Now. Um, so that's her Jen's card. Now she is going to declare that, hey, she has gained the trust of the priest. The priest um, requires that three locations must contain only members of a matching guild. Soldiers are permitted. So, um, you know, so basically you can't have, you know, uh, mixed up. Like, you know, there's not matching here, there's not matching here. But these three locations, there are, there's no mix and matches. Now, I'm not sure about this. I wonder if that means there has to be three pairs. I don't think so, because it doesn't say anything about guild pairs. And, you know, basically this location, this location, this location, all contain characters of the, of, oh, wait. Only characters of the matching guild. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Right, okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, shoot. Well, um. Right, so it has to be three places that have just a guard. Oh, okay, no problem though. Jen could do this anyway. She, these two characters she put over here, she put them down here instead, um, instead of putting them up there. And now she reveals that, hey, I've gained the trust of the priest. Here's three locations that only have one type of guild. And so the priest is happy and Jen just scored two points. 
because she got those three, and now she gets another mission. And what does that put her at? That puts her at uh, five, five points to three. Now, in a two-player game, you're scoring to ten. With um, two players, first player to get eight points. With four players, I'm sorry, with three players, it's um, eight. With four players, it's six. So, I mean, as you can imagine, with more players, there's a lot more chaos going around, but you don't have to hit as high a score. So, that works out. Anyway, so Jen gave herself a new mission. She draws a new card. All right, and now it is my turn again. I still haven't found that last guild, whichever one it was, the, the Sailor's Guild. I got to keep an eye out for that because that could finish this for me really quick. But in the meantime, I still got to work on this artisan. So I've got four guilds. Um, let's see, and I get to play a card. All right, I'm going to play the shopkeeper. And now he lets me swap one card with any other card in a different location. So I can basically swap two cards. <laughs> Let's see here. And what I'm going to do is the same kind of thing you do. I'm going to swap the, the uh, butcher out with a new character who normally would not be able to be played in that area. I'll swap her out with the student. And that was my turn. I haven't finished anything. I get to draw a card. But now the important thing is, my other butcher, I could play here. And once again, I am getting close to scoring my three points. And I drew another butcher. Or no, I drew a barrister. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so Jen's turn. Let's see, what is she going to do? Now, she's got a new mission. Uh, right, okay. I see what she needs to do. Right. That ain't easy, being cheesy. Um, what is Jen going to do? Hmm, okay. I think Jen, to achieve her goals. Ah. Oh, Jen, it is tricky. Well, okay, I, Jen's just going to take it easy. Or no, is she? Yeah, Jen is going to play another professor, which you saw before, Jen has to discard a card, and it will let her draw three cards. And I think the th she'll discard... Uh, another clerk, like she did earlier, and she gets to draw three. And that gets her a very big hand, a lot of flexibility. Okay. So that was Jen's turn. She didn't complete any missions. My turn again. All right. I'm so, all right. So the barrister. Take one card from any location in your hand. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play the barrister. Oops. Comes over here. Or over here. Ah, I'll put it over there. Now, I get to take any card I want off the board. Um, and so really what I want to do is I want to take a, a special character if I can. Um, I'm going to take the Swindler. The Swindler is back in action again. And by taking him and putting him in my hand, on my next turn, I can play him over here, and he will protect these two characters. And once again, I'll be trying to protect my investment into the Artisan Guild. Right, so I haven't completed anything. I draw a card. I have another Butcher. I have so many Butchers. Wow, and I've got four cards in my hand. I've kind of built up. Oh, wait, no, no, I don't get to draw a card, do I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, cool. So it's Jen's turn. Now, what is she up to now? That. Okay. Uh, right. Jen is going to play the butcher. Move any two cards from the discard pile. This is going to be painful. Jen's just going to get rid of these two. Boom. And now that's devastating to me. Not only am I back to square one over here, but she just got rid of the priest. And I needed the priest out on the board to gain the trust of the city. Jen has just now made it much, much tougher for me to complete this goal. I think, I forget how many priests there are. I think there's two. Uh, oh, do I have a list? No, I don't think I do have a list. Uh, but, you know, I mean, eventually the priest will come back around again. Does it say... No, I don't. In my, in my little port prototype rules, it doesn't tell me how many there are of each. But I think it's like two of each. So there's another priest out there somewhere. But that's going to make it much tougher to get this. All right, so. And I was just about to protect that area with my swindler. Arg. All right, so anyway. So Jen butchered those two. And she gets to draw a card. All right, and now it's my turn again. What am I going to do? Ah, uh, well... I'm starting to think, um, gaining the trust of the city, now that's going to be much, much tougher. Because now i got to get two special, very limited characters on the board. And I haven't even seen one of them yet. For all I know, Jen, with her six cards in her hand, is sitting on one of them. Which means she'll likely play it eventually. But where am I going to get another priest? Well, I mean, we're almost through the deck. 
Although I should say, the game, it's a race to get to 10 points, but the game can also end early if I believe we go through the deck twice. Let me double check that. Uh, how to win. At the end of the game, player with the most points wins. Uh, da, 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 da. End of the game. So whenever he gets, or if the deck is exhausted, shuffle the discard to the new deck the second time the deck is exhausted. So we can only go through this deck twice. Let me look to see if there's another uh, priest in here. Oh, there's the, uh, yeah, there are. There's the Dock Masters that I've been waiting for. Oh, wait, maybe there is only one priest. I'll shuffle these back up. Wow, I think there is only one priest in this game. Okay, I gotta shuffle those. Sorry. Ah, sorry, folks. I know, I'm sloppy. I didn't pre-plan anything. That's just the way I roll. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, so shuffle that back up. Let's see, did I, put, did I have a discard of previous priest? No, there is only one priest in this, in this entire deck. So I'm now thinking, getting this city, that's going to be way too tough. The priest, I'm going to get one more chance to get it on the board. It's great to have four points, but that seems like a real long shot. And it's, it's clogging up. I could go to the tavern and try to get another um, goal that I might have an easier time doing. Let's see here. So, or... Do I just hold on? Do I just keep struggling to try and do this arson thing and hope? Because, you know, Jen, she could unwittingly do the city for me because she'll play good cards out as well. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. All right, which means I am going to... Let's see, I guess I'm going to play the shopkeeper. Let's go ahead and put him over here. And he lets me swap one card with any other card in a different location. So, once again, I'll move a butcher out to uh, move the professor, oh, no, no, not the professor, we already have an education one, to move a barrister in, so once again, I can start building up over there. And, and um, right, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, okay, there we go. So, that was that, I draw a new card, I got a baker, ah, I got nothing but artisan guild, this is not what I need, I need some variety there, buddy. All right, so Jen's turn, All right, so, looking at what she needs to do, um, Hmm. Right, okay. So Jen, I believe, is going to play a... What is she going to do? Is she going to? Yeah. She is going to play a soldier over here. And that's going to kick somebody out. Is this right? Is this what you want to do? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, things are getting so complicated. And, you know, Jen, she's got a bunch of cards, so she has a lot of flexibility. It gets very, very complex with Jen's hand. She's got so many options for how to pursue her two goals. <sighs> um, in fact, I think I'm making my life even more miserable. She's going to play another professor, which means she discards a card, and she's going to draw two more cards. That'll give her an even bigger hand. She's going to discard a guard and then draw three cards, and her turn is over. There is nothing she can't do with her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in her hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, so back to me, back to my turn. All right, I'm still trying to get that arson guild done. Let's go on ahead and let's go on ahead and put the baker down, who lets me move two cards to any two different locations. This is it, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. I'm going to move two cards to two different locations. I think for starters, I will move, let's say, a guard over to this location. And I have to move another character to another location? What the heck? Let's say I'm going to move this shopkeeper. Oh, oh, no, no. I didn't move this guard. I'm going to move this shopkeeper to this location. And then for my other, because I have to move two characters with the baker, I'm going to move this. Oh, shoot. If I could just move one more, I'd have the six. But there aren't enough. There is no more unique characters out on the board. All right. All right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's going to be my coup de grace. Instead of him, I am going to put the swindler out. And once again, he's protecting that area. And then next turn, I'll get it finished once and for all. Okay, so I put the swindler out. I get to draw a card. There's a shopkeeper. And now it's Jen's turn again. What is she going to do? Um, Jen is going to, I believe... Yes, she is. Jen is going to play... Uh, to... Right, okay. Jen is going to play the minstrel. Player to a location uh, adjacent to the castle. So the minstrel can only go to these two spots. So I'll put her over here. And now move up to two cards from that location to one of the other locations on the same side of the city. So Jen will take um, this card. 
and this car, because they have to be from the same location, and move them to a different location, she will put them here. And I think, let's see if I can count, that's one, two, three, nope. All right. All right. So there we go. So Jen just did that. And now Jen doing that makes it pretty obvious to me that what I'm trying to do over here at the Artisan Guild, Jen is trying to do over here um, at, the, at the academies. She is, she must be trying to get a bunch of different guilds into these buildings because she's been putting stuff here for a long time and she just put two more there. And that's, like, that's one guild, two guilds, Three, four. She needs two more guilds over there. And so now I finally have a target. But before I do that, it's finally time, folks. I'm going to play the baker, move any two cards uh, to um, any two different locations. Oh, but they have to be different locations. Not a problem um, because I will may, I'll move this minstrel she just played. And I'll move the shopkeeper over here, this arbitrarily. And I have done it. I now have, in fact, I've got seven unique guilds. I have finally whole held sway over the Artisan Guild. Took me a while. Maybe I could have done it sooner if I was playing smarter, but whatever. I just scored three points. I get a new mission. And I get, draw another card. And my new mission, gain the trust of the clerk. Gather four characters from four different guilds to the magistrate's office. I got to get four guilds over here, and there's nothing over there. Arg, okay. But look, I finally got the Dock Master. I'm so close. I just the Dock Master and the Priest, and I can score the city. And that would do it, because I'm I am now three, four, five, six, four more points, and I could win if I can get that priest out. Oh my goodness. But anyway, in the meantime, Jen's turn with her five billion cards and her five billion options. All right, what is she gonna do? Um location. Uh right. Alright, so. Hmm, uh, Jen's not really happy with what she's got here, but what is she going to do? What is she going to do? Jen will play a, right, that's what she wants to do. Jen will play a soldier over here, and that lets her kick somebody out. She'll kick the minstrel out and put the minstrel, no, 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 she'll put, play the soldier over here, who will kick somebody out, will kick out the swindler, who will come over here and protect Jen's investment at the university. That is what Jen is going to do. All right. And so she's uh, played a soldier, uh, done that, and now she gets to draw a card. And now it's my turn again. Let's see, do I want to get the Dock Master out now? I want to wait till I've got the Priest. Because if I get the Priest in my hand, I can get them both out at once, and I can make sure they're both out. If I put the Dock Master out now, he might get discarded before the Priest comes out. So I'm going to wait on this for a while. What's the other thing i got to do? i got to get... Um, four different, gather characters from four different guilds to the magistrates. I gotta get four guilds up here and there's only one. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's get that going. Let us, although wait, no, before I do, I can see what Jen's going for. Let's slow her down. Let's play a butcher, uh, let's say, which lets me move any two cards to the discard pile. I can't move any of these because they're protected by the swindler, but you can bet I can move two of those. Let's go on ahead and move, uh, guards are a dime a dozen. Let's move these two. And so, I'm, I'm suspecting I just slowed Jen down. And as it turns out, I did. Okay. All right, Jen's turn. All right, oh, but I got to draw a card. All right, we're almost out of the, almost emptied with the deck. Okay. Jen's turn. Oh, my gosh. Sorry I'm taking so long thinking about this, folks. I know it's very boring. Eh, maybe I should just let you see what she's got. So you can, um, yeah, what the heck. Let's go on ahead so you can kind of get an insight so you're not just waiting for me to think. So you can see, Jen's got a bunch of stuff. She's pursuing two goals. The, as, I, as I suspected correctly, she wants to get six guilds in the, in there, in the Juicy Guild Guild. But the other thing, she's had this from the beginning of the game. Get four locations completely empty. Remember how earlier she wiped out um, an area? That was to empty out the area because the tavern's empty. She needs to get three more areas empty. And if she can, she can score two points. That's where all those guards come in. Because, you know, she could put a guard down here and then just boom, wipe that area out. So that's a goal she's had for quite a while. The timing has just never really worked out. But anyway, so now that you know what it is she's thinking, um, on the Rotto Runs Through sign, let's see, what is she going to do? She's so close to Jisso Guild. She's got one, two, three, four guilds on there. She plays this student. That would put a fifth one on there. And it would get her um, some more cards in her hand. Yeah, with that, she's just going to do that. Nice and simple. Plays a student. So, um, and now she didn't complete anything, but she gets to draw four cards. One, the deck is empty. It is time to reshuffle the deck. And if the deck empties again, the game is over. 
And that would be fine with me. I could just try to rush the game as fast as I can, just discard cards and get rid of them, because I'm in the lead right now with um, six points to Jen's five. So that's a strategy, too. But anyway, so shuffle this up a little bit. My hands are so sweaty, I can't hardly shuffle at all. But that'll do. All right, so uh, she's played the student, so she gets to draw one, two, three, four cards and keep one. Hey, look at that. A shipman. I think she's going to keep that because it is unique. Um, although, she could play the barrister. No, but she can't play the barrister where she needs to. And yeah, yeah, she's going to take that. And so all these get discarded. And that's bad. She's just gotten rid of three cards. And she knows I'm in the lead. And the deck's almost empty. But we'll see what happens. All right. So, Jen did that. And now it's my turn. Because you don't get to draw your free card at the end of the turn when you play the student. So, okay, what am I going to do? All right, I'm still just waiting for the priest so I can score those four points. And in the meantime, I want to get a lot of characters up here. So how do I do that? Well, for starters, I think I'll play the clerk. Because now I've got two guilds in the magistrate office. Remove a guild pair from one location to a discard pile or draw an extra card at the end of the turn. I think I'm going to draw an extra card at the end of the turn. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm going to remove a guild pair. These two guys, boom, they're gone. And once again, oh, wait, no, no, I was going to remove them. But it doesn't really... In fact, actually, oh, it was pointless for Jen to put this student here because she already had, well, whatever. Me moving these guild pair doesn't do anything because Jen still has that guild in position. So I'm just going to draw two cards at the end of my turn because I'm trying to empty the deck as fast as I can. Plus, that gives me more flexibility. Okay, and I was working on my goal. Now it's Jen's turn again. What is she going to do? Um, the thief. So take one card from each player with more than two cards. Ah, so I, Jen could get a card from me. And I, for, I, I assume it must be a blind draw. Let me look at that really quick. Oh, thiefy thief. Thiefy thief, where are you? Um, the right on the second page, the Harbor Guild thief. Um, it requires you to steal one card at random from each player. Although in a two player game, that's only one. That could be really handy with more players. So, um, Jen will go on ahead and play this here. And so that makes one, two, three, four, five. Five characters, and she needs six. And she gets to steal randomly one from me. And let's go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And so she ended up stealing the guy from me. And now she gets to draw a card. All right. Okay. And so now it's my turn again. And I need to get another... Um, unique guild over there. Now that Jen's put the thief out, I don't have to worry about holding on to my Dockmaster. I could do him now. And he is, uh, play to location adjacent to the harbor, has to be over there. Move one card from each harbor um, to the harbor, on, from, from each location adjacent to the harbor to the harbor. Now, I don't really care about getting stuff in the harbor. I, actually, yeah, this is not, there's not a particularly good time to play him. That doesn't help me very much. Um, but you know what? I think I will play a barrister because that lets me grab any card I want. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Swindler and slow Jen down so that that uh, you know, affects her ability to do that. And then I get to draw a card, emptying out the deck as fast as I can. Ah, a student. Pay her, draw four more cards, empty out the deck even faster. Oh, things are spiraling out of control, honey. You've got to pick up the pace. So she's got one guild, two guilds. She's only got, or she's got, no, she's got one, two. She's got four guilds there. She needs to get two guilds to score that thing. Um, what could she do? Well, she could play the broker, which lets her move two cards from um, one location to two different locations. And so that would, you know, um, whoa, um, one card from, uh, two cards from one of these locations. So it could be like these two to two different locations. So it'd be here and here. And now, once again, she is so close. She's got almost everything she needs to score. So I think she'll go with that. And then she's got to draw a card. Okay, and now it's my turn again, and see, I need to get more guilds over here to score the magistrate office. Uh, move two cards, and I could, I could pull the same trick as, no, yeah, actually I could. I could pull the same trick as her. Move two cards from one location to two different locations. So, for instance, I could, oh, and I, by the way, I, yeah, yeah. So I could move these over, let's say, here, and here, and now I've got three guilds over there, so that's pretty nice. And I draw a card, or I, you know, and now it's Jen's turn again. Oh wow, two students! I could, I could probably empty this deck now and, and win the game. So back to Jen, back to her turn. Um, what is she gonna do? Let's see here. Uh, she is gonna play the baker, 
move two cards to two different locations, and it, it just needs one more guild that's not present. Yeah, okay, the Minstrel, to two, two cards to two different locations. So you gotta move one other where, let's see, what else do you wanna do? Oh, and what the heck, she'll move this over here, arbitrarily. All right, so she moved two cards, and that's it. She's done it. She's got six guilds, and Jen just scored the Judiciary Guild, and she just pulled into the lead. She now has three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. And now, all of a sudden, I do not want to empty this deck as fast as I can. If I do, I lose. I probably should have done that for Jen a while ago. But I, I, there's just so much stuff going on, so many cards, I just can't think clearly. And it must be 90 degrees in here. I'm sweating like a pig. But anyway, so that was Jen's move. She completed a mission. Yes, she did. She gets to draw a new one, and it is gain the trust of the professor. Gather four characters from four different guilds at the university. That might already done. One guild, two guild, three. Wow, that's already done. That just fell into Jen's hand, and I don't know it. Okay, so now it's my turn. I will pretend I don't know that, and I'll just go on my merry way. Let's see. Now, what have I been seeing Jen doing? I've been seeing Jen build up a lot of stuff. Oh, she just scored it. So, oh, but I've just been trying to finish that so I can score. You know what, heck, I'm just going to place the swindler here. Just really simple. That's four characters. I just completed Gain the Trust of the Kirk. That's another point. I get another mission, and I got to draw a card. Okay. The student. Ga um, gather characters of four different guilds at the library. <gasps> Look at that. That just fell into my lap. Oh, my gosh. Things are just uh, esca you know, escalating like crazy. Now, Jen needs, if she can get four locations empty, she's got one, she's only got one, two empty. But a well-placed guard... Like, say, here, where there's already, let's see. Yeah, here, where there's already three guards, boom, they just got, everybody got arrested. There's now one, two, three spaces empty. One more empty space, and Jen could finally finish her, and she could win the game with those two points. But, in the meantime, Jen, she played that, now she'll prove, hey, I've gained the trust of the professor because there are four different guilds at the university. One, two, three, four, and Jen just scored another point. She's at nine points, folks! So she gets another mission and draws a card. And now it's my turn, and remember, I'm going to score a mission now, too, for free, as long as I don't mess with the, uh, with, the, with the library. But in the meantime, where are you, priest? You know what? Actually, I am tempted to use the student. You know what? And also, if I'm, if I'm on my game, I'm realizing now, wow, Jen keeps emptying out all these areas. Why does she keep doing that? She must, be tr she must have the Thief Guild. I better fill a space in. So if I want to do that... For instance, I could send this soldier, who I recently picked up, over, uh, yeah. Or no, actually, no. I'll send my Dock Master out. I'll send him out, place a location, so now this space isn't empty. Jen's Thief Guild is aborted, because I intuited what she was doing. And move one card from each location adjacent to the harbor, um, which is these to any other location. So I, she can move something someplace else. Now, um, oh, no, I can. I'm sorry, I can. And what do I want to do? Well, it doesn't really matter, but I will go on ahead and put this over in the library. I'll put this unique thing over here in the library to double or triple ensure. Although it doesn't matter because now I'm going to score, gaining the trust of, this, of the student. And so I'm at um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight to nine points, folks. I get a new mission. Hold sway over the military guild. Oh, this is a hard one to do. Eight soldiers must be present in the city. Four points. How many soldiers are in the city right now? They keep arresting people, so they keep disappearing. There's only two, there's only three of them out there. I can't pull that one off in time. This is getting scary. But I did get that other one. Now it's Jen's turn. I, I thwarted her thief attempt. Um, let's see, and she just picked up another one. Gain the trust of a soldier. Clear one location containing at least two non-soldier characters. Um, at least two non-soldiers. She has to clear. Now, unfortunately, she got this after she did that big clear. But if she starts setting up for another clearing, yeah, let's have her do that. Remember, oh, this is great because these two things work in conjunction. She'll put a soldier down here because then if she puts another soldier, she'll clear this area out and that will solve her soldier and win the game. She only needs one more point and that's two. All right, so that's that. She will draw another card. It's the clerk. And now it's my turn. Oh, all right. She just put another soldier out. That helps me. There's now one, two, three, four soldiers. But I got to get four more soldiers, and I've only got one. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to play the student. I'll put her over here. And I am going to draw four cards, and I got to find that priest. I got to find that priest. One, two, three, four. Did I find? No, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. How could I not find the priest? That means the priest is one of these two cards. Oh, 
And I gotta keep one. I had to discard one of the ones I already had. I got a lot of soldiers though. I'll discard the other student. It was a Hail Mary, but it didn't work out. If I had drawn the priest, I would have played the priest. All the guilds would have been out. And, oh, let's just say for the heck of it, where are you, priest? Let's just say I drew the priest instead of the soldier, just for fun, because I'm, I'm really getting exhausted. Right, okay, so I played the soul, the, uh, what's your name? I drew a bunch of cards. I will keep, I drew, was it three, four? I'll discard three. I keep this one, and now it's Jen's turn. And now Jen, win, you know, because if I play the priest next turn, I win. I hold sway over the city and I win. If Jen uh, play, if she gets anything this turn, and she does, because Jen is going to play a soldier. That's three soldiers. Everybody here is getting arrested. And um, clear one location containing at least two non-soldier characters, which is definitely the case. There's a lot of non-soldier characters here. And Jen just scored the trust of the soldier guild. And she just hit 10 points, folks. Now, if Jen had been the first player, we'd keep going because everybody would get a chance to finish the game. But I was the first player, so the round is over, and Jen just won the game. If I had one more turn, I would have played this priest anywhere, and I would have scored the four points, and I would have won. That was a photo finish, to say the least. Um, and by the way, uh, the tiebreaker, if uh, players have the same amount of points at the end of the game, is whoever got those points with the fewest missions completed. So anyway... That's it. That was a full game. I cheated a little bit just to make the game because I'm exhausted. I mean, look, I, I feel like Tula over there. I mean, I am that tired. I am bone tired and hot and sweaty. So we're going to end it right there. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.